Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I am bringing you the uh, Bigsby setup, how to set up Bigsby voice, and we're going to go through a brief uh, couple of questions on it. But I did want to change the beginning to ask you guys, what do you want me to ask Bigsby? We're going to do it in a follow-up video uh, called uh, Bigsby Q&A viewers questions so obviously make them appropriate but after seeing what bigsby can do i go through an entire list of what bigsby can do uh let me know what questions you want me to ask and i will ask them in a follow-up video subscribe if you haven't and if you do have the essay and you haven't subscribed are you crazy we have the most coverage on youtube for the essay all right guys now let's start the video so bigsby just told me these are the languages that i can speak so we're gonna hit english Please check and agree to the terms and conditions. And I'm agreeing all these things. Here are the two different ways you can find me. One way to talk to me is to hold down the Bixby key on the left and speak. After you're done talking, you can release the Bixby key. Let's try it now. I'll listen as long as you're holding down the key. What's the weather like? Let's try this again. Oh. I guess I have to say what it wants me to say. Open the gallery and show me pictures. No problem. Let's move on to the next one. The other way to wake me up is by using your voice, even if the screen is off. Let's register your voice now. Just tap the logo. Hey, Bigsby. Hi, Bigsby. Hi, Bigsby. Hi, Bigsby. Hi, Bigsby. Open messages. Hi, Bigsby. Turn on Bluetooth. I am here when you need me. Just call me. Mm -hmm. When you want me to do something, it helps if you start by saying open. Followed by the app name, and then tell me what to do with it. Like this. It's easy. Just remember to use the app name and tell me what to do with it. Okay. I wonder if I could just skip a step, though. Like, open settings and turn display brighter seems silly. So, hi, Bigsby. Hi, Bigsby. Hi, Bigsby. Okay. Okay, I guess it's just letting me know. It can work with all these apps, so let's make sure they're all updated. Okay, so it looks like you have to update a lot of your apps so that they're going to work with it. This includes messages, gallery, contacts, phone, settings, Bigsby Vision, obviously, Bigsby Reminder, obviously. Uh, your clock, your Samsung internet browser. I hope they don't do that by default. Uh, I never use that one. And then uh, your calculator, too. That's kind of interesting. I'm always experimenting with more apps at Bixby Labs. I may not be perfect just yet, but I learn faster as you use different apps with me. Try them out now. Okay, so let's see what we have in their labs. Right now, we also have, obviously, calendar, email, video, voice recorder, and Samsung Health. Okay, these should be working by default. I don't see anything that's wrong with that. Uh, I do like that they actually work with Gmail, because that's all I use on this phone. Um, they do work with Twitter as well. I'm kind of curious to see that. Um, they work with Google Play Music, Facebook, and Maps. Yeah, update those. I am good at lots of things. Take a look. There are nearly 3,000 different things I can help you with. Hmm. To find out what I'm best at, check out my Bixby in Bixby Home. I like to start a run for Samsung Health. That's actually pretty cool. Um, I like the auto-fit content, so that way you just don't even have to. For those of you who don't know, if you want to make it uh, fit the full screen, typically you have to hit an icon um, on the bottom of it when it's open. 
so that if you would um if you would basically go to an app and it could it wasn't full screen but you could do it you tap it on the corner i am good at lots of things take a look there are nearly three thousand different things i can help you with to find out what i'm best at check out my bixby in bixby home show off phone visibility show off oh turn off huh I want to know who still uses the speed dial list. I want to know if any of you guys actually do that. What I have on my home screen is I have direct call ones, but I do not have, I've never used the speed dialer list anymore. For those of you too young to know, that's what we used to use back in the day when we recorded, um, or sorry, when we recorded, uh, when we uh, called people uh, quickly, we just hit a button, hold it down. Change the name of, you can change the name of an album. That's kind of interesting. Move English down to one spot. I actually like that if you're traveling, you can actually tell it, hey, I'm here now, make that the time zone. Save URLs and screenshots of web pages. That sounds like a really cool feature. I don't know why that wouldn't be on by default, though. That's very useful. Um, that's actually pretty interesting. That's very detailed. Show me an animation of the most recent burst shot in Birthday Story. Kind of interesting. I like that. I mean, the fact that you can just say, will it be hot? Like, that's very natural speaking. So, we'll, well, again, this is beta, so we expect it to kind of be a little eh right now. Set magnifier, turn off auto answering. And, and by the way, so a lot of these you can see why it's different from other things, right? Because of the fact that this can actually do a lot of stuff in the phone and control stuff. Uh, in the phone and saving you multiple steps, which is the one, uh, which is something that Siri and Google Assistant can't do, is uh, do multiple steps instead of just um, you know open an app or do one thing or do, you know this should be able to go a lot more in depth. Will it be as accurate? That's another statement. That's what we're going to find out. Enter standard mode. Most recent calls. Again, I just kind of want to go through these to show you guys exactly what you can do. Search for Google in my bookmarks. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can tell if it makes me to swipe left. I, <laughs> I guess. I mean, that's just an interesting... Swipe up, I guess I can do that too. Like, I'm gonna control Bigsby with my voice. I'm just gonna, never gonna touch my phone again. All right, um. I like that actually, being able to show the contact info because especially for addresses, I feel like that is a pain to get to um, for like a friend's contact address. That's very useful, too, for people that don't know how to do that. Show me my Wi-Fi MAC address or show me my IMEI. That is a really nice feature to have. Add VPN. Mm. I like the turning on the, on and off the mobile hotspot. That can be useful as well. I like how specific you can get. Uh, turn on the blue light filter for 50% uh, occupancy. Occup yeah. I'm not going to try that again. Buy black wallpaper on Samsung themes. Some of these are very interesting, like ones you might not like. Oh, I can normally do that. Or I would think to do that. I like that too, that you can like apply grayscale effect to this photo. That's pretty good like I, i'm just very curious to see how well it'll work turn edge panel off i like that that way i don't have to go into settings to turn edge panel on i'm like okay i want to use edge panel right now 
Hey, B hi, Bigsby. Turn uh, edge panel on. That's something that I could do. Okay. All right, guys. I think that's good enough to just kind of see some of them. All right. Well, let's test it out. Hi, Bigsby. Turn off edge panel. I don't want to name the app. You need to figure that out. <laughs> okay, it's off. Wow, it actually shows you uh, the steps. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's do it again. Hi, Bigsby. Turn on edge panel. Good job, good job. All right, um, let's do, hi Bigsby, play the YouTube tech guy on YouTube. I mean, it does a search for it, but okay. Hi, Bigsby. Open YouTube to the YouTube tech guy. That's right. I mean, it kind of did what I wanted it to do. Um, hi, Bigsby. Go to phonearena.com. The com. Oh, God, I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, hi, Bigsby. Open internet to sammobile.com. Let's see. Sure thing. Here it is. What? <laughs> okay, first of all, guys, I want you to know I don't even have AT&T on this phone. <laughs> I do not know how that happened. <laughs> um, let's see. What else should I have it do? Hi, Bigsby. Turn on the flashlight. All right. The flashlight's on. Hi, Bigsby. Dim the flashlight. Let's choose what you'd like me to do from this list. To narrow down your options, select an app name. Uh. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to see if you can dim it just rather than turn it on or off. Uh, let's see. Hi, Bigsby. Hi, Bigsby. Set screen brightness at 30%. Okay. Done. Very good. That one did well. Hi, Bigsby. Set screen brightness to 100%. Okay, done. All right, let's try an all traditional. Hi, Bigsby. Who is the president of the United States? Can I answer questions? So it just does a Google search for questions. Mm. Again, Bigsby is supposed to not be really to um, go into certain things in terms of answering questions, more to be able to do certain things. So let's see. Let's go right here. Hi, Bigsby. 
apply grayscale effect to this photo. Good. Okay. Um, hi, Bigsby. Auto correct this photo. Hmm. I wanted it to, but I guess it was already ending. So let's do auto adjust. Hi, Bigsby. Auto adjust this photo. Okay, auto adjust has been applied. So you can do things like that, which is nice. Um, all right, guys, I think I'm going to end that here. Please let me know in the comment section what questions do you want me to ask? Bigsby, like what questions would you like me to ask? Again, it can't really, uh, it can't really seem to do like normal questions as in like questions you would ask Google Assistant or Siri of just like trivia. You know, it, it doesn't have a knowledge base. It really seems like it is more to get things done on your phone. So, you know, I wonder, um, hi Bigsby. Play Google Play Music, car music. Looks like you can't play music right now. Okay. Hi, Bigsby. Open Google Play Music and play car music playlist. It might be able to do this. Okay, it didn't get my car music playlist, but to be fair, my car music playlist is like one dash car music, so maybe it couldn't find that. So maybe it couldn't find that and it was trying to find like a playlist for that. Just to give an idea, that is my car music playlist, but it couldn't get it, so that's fine. It, it, it's not, you know, um, oh, maybe I could do that. Hi, Bigsby. Open up Google Play Music and play the Thumbs Up playlist. Hey, I got it. I won't deny it. I'm a straight rider. Great. So, it got that, so that's really cool. So, again, it looks like you can open up some stuff. I wonder, I don't think I don't think Netflix was on that list. Um, so it really is kind of interesting to see what will it be able to do. Let me know in the comment section down below what would you want me to ask Bigsby and I will ask it in a follow-up question uh, video called um, Bigsby Q&A uh, viewer questions. All right, let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Thank you, as always, for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy.